Jaguar E-Pace, Baby F-Pace Spied Wearing Production Bodywork. Brand new spy shots of new Jaguar E-Pace crossover reveal Baby F-Pace's production bodywork and shape for first time. Jaguar is plotting a new small SUV to sit underneath the F-Pace, and our spy photographers have caught a first glimpse of the new Baby Jaguar SUV wearing its production bodywork for the first time. The car, which could take on the E-Pace name, is still heavily masked but it's possible to make out the distinctive shape of the new crossover, packing F-Pace design traits into a smaller, chunkier package. Towards the back a tall shoulder line rises above the rear axle, and though the rear end wears extra bodywork to disguise the shape, the steeply raked rear windscreen hints at the coupe-like rear end Jaguar is plotting for its smaller SUV. The new pictures are our best look yet at the upcoming Audi Q3 rival, and the latest in a series of sightings over the previous few months. We spied the car for the first time early last year, our photographers spotting a modified Range Rover Evoque testing on roads near JLR headquarters in Gaydon, Warks. Since then we've received sporadic sightings of the car wearing a far more appropriate F-Pace inspired disguise. An earlier sighting and the license check revealed that one of the baby SUV mules has been registered as a 2.0-liter diesel-electric hybrid, hinting that JLR is working on alternative powertrains to help the LRMS chassis through the next decade. Petrol or diesel-based hybrid tech would see CO2 drop below 100 G-km, and could allow fuel economy of more than 70 mpg. As with the Evoque, the Baby Jag is unlikely to benefit from more powerful six-cylinder engines, focusing on refined four-cylinder units. The E-Pace is expected to go on sale within two years, priced from around £28,000. Due to design constraints, Jaguar is not able to use a shortened version of the F-Pace's chassis for the smaller car. Instead, the new model is expected to be based on the smaller, and older, Evoque. This is the same LRMS chassis found on the Land Rover Discovery Sport, which isn't due for replacement until 2022 at the earliest proving there's plenty of life in the platform. Jaguar's chief designer Ian Callum suggested earlier this year that any smaller model would need to move to a transverse engine layout. We've done front-wheel drive studies, because everybody knows that if you go smaller than XE or F-Pace, you've no choice but to go that way, he said. The only way you're going to get the look on the car is to turn the engine sideways. It is challenging, and we've clearly looked at how we could do it. You get that long snout otherwise, which looks out of proportion. As such, entry-level editions of the small car could be front-wheel drive the first Jag to use that layout since the X-Type, and the extremely short rear overhang suggests Jaguar is testing a platform with front-wheel drive in mind. Four-wheel drive will be offered on the bulk of the range, though, including the more powerful variants. As the XF followed in the footsteps of the XE, we anticipate Jag's smaller SUV to take design cues from the F-Pace. The flat nose also evident on the Evoque mule will remain, but with shorter overhangs, the alteration to the rear is particularly evident on this mule. This is likely to ensure a smaller cabin and reduced boot space, although the car should be more than a match for rivals like the BMW X1 and forthcoming Mercedes GLB. It will be more practical than an Evoque, too, as its wheelbase should be slightly longer. We'd expect official information to be revealed at some point this year, ahead of showroom-ready models arriving in 2018.